Hello everyone. So in this session, you'll be writing your very first Go program. This uh, session assumes that uh, you have already installed Go in your local system and your IDE is all set up to run the Go program, run and compile the Go program. So I'll be using Visual Studio code to write the very first program in Go language. As you can see that my in my screen, that Visual Studio code is open. Now I will open a folder Now demo is the folder that I have created to write my Go program in. So as you can see that the Visual Studio code has opened the folder. Now I will create a file in here called hello.go. So the very first thing to understand is all the Go programs, all, all the Go files will have an extension of .go. Now let's start with the very first line of the Go program. So every Go program will start with a keyword called package. Package means that we want to create a package out of it. You can uh, consider package is nothing but a uh, combination of uh, methods. So, so method is encapsulated into a package. So we'll start with package and the name of the package, let's say it is main. So whenever we say the name of the package is main, that means that we want to compile the program as an executable. So this is a uh, main is a reserved keyword in Go. We cannot have our own custom package named as main because Whenever we name the package as main, so by the way, we can have package with any name. If I want to create a package with the name A, B, C, I can create it by any name. But if the package is main, so whenever a Go program is built, so it understand that, okay, if the package name is main, that means I want to create an executable out of it. So for, the, for this demo, I will create an executable out of it. So I'm keeping the package name as main. Now the next statement will be, import import means that i want to import certain packages because i will use those packages or the functions inside the packages in my program further so i'm importing a go default package called fmt so it is a distributed package now this fmt uh, package has a function called println this is the name of the function now i want to use that uh, function because I want to print certain uh, text to my console or to my standard output and println does so. So that println function is inside the FMT package. So that's why I am importing the FMT package here. So FMT, by the way, is a Go standard library package. It comes with the Go standard library and that is inbuilt within the Go tools. So when we install Go, this package will already will also be installed along with the Go installation. So there is no extra work that is required to be done. It is included by default. Now the next line will be func. Func is a syntax for a function. Now main bracket and now this parenthesis and now this. So now this main function, this main function, whenever we are creating an executable and the function name is main. Inside an executable main function is always the entry point of the program. We cannot have main function or declared twice within a Go application where it is an executable or if a main package is already declared there. So main can only be one. The next character, so I'll, I'll be explaining you the characteristics of the main function in a couple of minutes, but before that, let me make use of FMT package inside the main function. Now, what I will do is I will say FMT dot println. This println is used to uh, print the output into the console or the standard output. So I'll say, okay, my first go program. And now I am done. So congratulations. This is our very first program that we have completed in Go. So what this program will do is, this program will, will, will print the output as my first Go program into the console. Now let's again uh, read the program one by one. Starting line one, it says package main. Package main means I want to uh, create an executable out of this program. Now import FMT. This means that I want to import a package with the name of FMT because I want to use a method that is inside the FMT package in my program further. Now function main, function main is the entry point of my program. 
Now fmt.println, println is the function that is inside the fmt package that I have imported in line number three. Now what println does is it prints the output to the console. Now uh, let's talk uh, about uh, some more characteristics of the main function. The very first thing is we cannot have a method named as main in a Go program if we are creating an executable. There can be only one main function. Main is always the entry point for the program. Whenever the app will run, mail will be main will be the first method that will be called if we are creating an executable. Main function will not return anything. Main function will, whenever main function will exit, the whole program or the app will exit. And main function will always pass the signal to the operating system about the success or the failure for the program. I hope everything is clear. Now let's build the program. Now to build the program, I'll go to terminal. I'll say, okay, open the terminal. This is my terminal, hope you can see. Now to build the program, I will write a command, go build. The name of the file is hello, hello.go. Now you see on the very first line is package main. That means we are saying, to go that whenever you build this program, you create an executable out of it. Now keep an eye in here inside the demo. Now when I, when I print hello, you see there's only one file called hello.go. Now when I'll print the enter, now you see now there are two files. Now this hello is actually a binary that is created by the go. So this is an executable. Now let's run the executable and see the program output. So I'll say dot slash. Hello, and I'll say enter, you see, the output is in front of me, my first Go program. Now, now let's try to run it via execute. Okay, so we have already run it via executable, that is dot slash. Now, uh, let's try to run it by some other way, that is let's run the program directly without creating an executable. Now, what I will do is, I will delete the executable from here. I want to run the command directly or I want to run my program directly without creating an executable of it. So for that, the command will be go run hello.go. If I press enter, you see executable is not created, but the output is in front of me. Now, the other thing that I want to bring into your attention is notice with every language, or with almost every language we used to uh, end the line with a terminator, but here we can see that we are not using terminator anywhere. It is because whenever a Go program compiles, it automatically do it for us and it will automatically decide uh, wherever terminator should be. Now how compiler does decides it? Because it's it works on a strict syntax checking. Now, what do I mean by that? Let me give you an example. If you see line number five, it says function main, then there are brackets, then this parenthesis is open. Now, if I will press enter and I'll do it in the next line, now see what will happen. Now, if I want after bringing it to the next line, and if I try to build the program now here, now in any of the language, if I will do this, it would have built it successfully like for C sharp, Java, it would have built successfully. Now let's see what happens with Go. You see, it says missing function body. Syntax error, unexpected semicolon or new line before the opening parenthesis. What does this mean? This means that there is a strict checking inside the compiler that says whenever a function is declared, then the starting parenthesis should be on the same line. So this is how Go decides where the terminator should be and where uh, it should terminate the line and start the next line. So this is interesting, right? Or some some uh, different concepts that we are looking. But if I will add terminator at any point in here, what will happen? Now the next question is: If I add terminator here, what will happen? If I terminator here, what will happen? Now say I have added terminator here. What will happen? Now it will not. It is not allowing me. Now if I add a terminator here. Okay, so basically somewhere if I add a terminator within the line, it will allow the me and it will run the, comp it will compile 
my program successfully without any issue. So though the intelligence of my IDE and the add-ons that I have added is not allowing me to add a terminator. If you see, I've added a terminator in line number six. As soon as I'm saving it, it is removing the terminator. This is one of the benefits that I have shown you previously when I have told you how you can set up your IDE, how you can set up Visual Studio code uh, to run the Golang program. So I have added you, I've told you to install Go tools, right? So this is one of the benefit of it. Now you'll see if I'll remove the import, other benefit, let me show it quickly. If I'll remove the import statement, but I am using a method of the import statement. Now, as soon as I'll save the program, this will automatically add the import statement for me. So this is one of the other benefit of using the add-ons in the Visual Studio Code for Go that I have told you in the previous uh, sessions. Now let's come back to the program. Now here you can see in line number three, I have imported only one package. Now what if I have to import multiple packages? How should I do that? To import multiple packages, we have to open in parenthesis. Now I want to import another package called runtime. So this is this package also is installed by default with the Go uh, language or the Go toolset. Now. If I'll say save, currently it is showing an error because I'm not using any method or any properties defined within this runtime. I'm just importing it. That's the reason it is showing an error. Now let me use it inside it. Now I'll say fmt.println and fmt has a property that defines which OS you are using. So I'll see. I'll say my OS is and comma, I'll say runtime.goos and I will save it. Now the quality of the IntelliSense, I'll remove it since runtime is being used. As soon as I'll save it, it will automatically add it. Now let's run this program again. I'll say go run hello dot go i'll press enter it says my first grow program the very first line of it my os is darwin now congratulations you have created your very first go, go program now next we'll talk about the sesh functions and how you can uh, add more and more functions and create packages within your go programs so that's all from this time thank you very much guys